Hey guys, hope you're doing well today because we're gonna be learning some fun today. And today I'm gonna be explaining how you can actually play as a pro player from T1. Um, this is how 100 Thieves players play. Uh, this is the first player to hit Radiant in Valorant, which is pretty crazy. We had like the Valorant rank. Uh, I think that was Brax or someone like that. But you can immediately see just at the start that you know he actually helps his teammates. So if you see the scoreboard over here, it's like at the beginning of the round. 4 3, you know, this is like the top, um, well, not well let ranked matches. But as you can see, he actually helps Sage, you know. So, those, so he has the Sage for Hill, and he actually goes there. And she helps him out. I think that's a great thing to be do doing, to be honest. Um, usually, I feel really bad for Sage players. Uh, what personally happens is most people blame Sage for not healing them or, you know, not even in voice. If you're a Sage player, I can totally feel it. Because, well, as a Sage main, you're not going to get a lot of support from people. They're going to blame you for not being successful in your matches. But that's not how it simply is, is it? Um, and look at this smokes. I really like Omen smokes from, you know, him, from T1 Food. Um, he's actually pretty great. He's never using, you know, um, the random ones. Uh, the ones on the minimap, they work terrible, and he's always using the precise ones. That's one, one thing I really do with Omen. Um, I think that's really great, to be honest. And he's always sneaky, even though, like, his teammates aren't, so that got him a free kill over here. So, you know, be sneaking around, even though when your teammates are running like idiots, look at this. Oh, let's make some sound here. He immediately starts pre-firing, he sees him, he immediately trades, you know, gets a kill. Look at this, this is, this is, these are some perfect shots, you're not gonna learn this just the way. But it could definitely potentially help you, to be honest. So if I put myself a bit like over here, so you know, just so you can see yourself better. Or whatever, but look at this. He got killed. Okay, that's that's all right. He got four kills over here. Um, we can also see some highlights over here. I really like. Look at this. How he jumps from bridge. This is for all players. This is not just for Omen. Just let's rewind. This is five seconds back. Uh, you can see over here. He actually escaped reach pretty good. He didn't get the shots. He didn't stay there. He wasn't greedy. I see so many of my players being greedy and like rushing shit and then you know wondering why did I die? Why did that happen? Um, of course that happened. If <laughs> it fucking rushed you and you didn't fall back. Seriously. Um, these are so annoying. These are seriously annoying. I hate them as well. However, you still have to avoid them, right? So, this guy is gonna re really punish. Look at this. Look at this punish. Just because, just because, you know, he avoided this. He didn't get killed. Look, immediately, immediately responds back. Uh, you should do the same with like, if you're a Phoenix, the same if you're a Jet. You know, respond back, punish them back. If they're, you know, trying to fuck you over, uh, attack back. That's what I think. This is actually great. Look at this. Uh, he actually gave them this round. Uh, it was a flawless round, anyway. And this is the new Aston map, right? He has some cheeky spots. So that's one thing I noticed in this video. The first thing I noticed here is nobody's gonna consider you over here because you're exposed from all sides, right? Uh, but he knows some enemies are coming from this way because of the sage, she she isn't sneaky at all. Uh, so she kind of tried to pre-fire over here. Look at this, this is perfect. Immediately as he gets the kill, he falls back down. I think that's pretty much great. Great thing, to be honest. The best of the best. <laughs> Okay, so if you're not hitting shots like these, you just gotta aim and practice. It's gonna take like at least half a year or a year to actually get good as this. Uh, to be honest, look at this. This is like kind of half luck and just, you know, just playing around, just messing around or whatever. Uh, but these skills are really good. Like, he can't hit him from over here, you know, he has an operator. But he can easily kill him like this way. He just has to pre-fire. He can also hit anything. Look at this. He basically won them the round by a 4k. This is crazy. Um, Jet is actually pretty good right now. I recommend it a lot. Um, but what I think... Look at this. Again, 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 again. He, he pushed a little. Like he's, These players are pros, right? But nobody actually considers why they're pros. Nobody actually... Um, looks at this. Oh, how can I how can I play like this pro? Um, this is how you become pro. You have to review a lot of VODs. You have to train a lot. There's no easy way around this. 
Um, I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. Like, he didn't destroy this little thing here from uh, Cypher or whatever, but he actually waited to get those two kills. Look at the fast reaction time. So, 99.9% .9 of players most likely don't have a reaction time like this. Um, I'd say this reaction time, like, these aim and whatever is like at least top 10% top in my honest opinion. It's just the way it is. He's just really good. Even though the scoreboard is not the best, th these are like really good games. Uh, they're still losing somehow. That just explains you how teamwork is actually important in Valorant. It's, it's not that easy. Uh, do I think he will win this one? I think he will definitely carry this one. Look at this. Oh my god. This, this is a lot of things I see in the game where Sage is just out in the open. So she had like 3-4 corners where she could actually butt shot at. Um, and she still picked. She still picked and whatever. Uh, this was crazy. And if you're playing Jet, here's a good example of what you could do. Just, you know, do a slight peek. Uh, I don't know why Sage revived here because it was a full... So it becomes a 4v1 anyway. Because you have all the info. Why would you do that? Um, anyway, I'm not gonna you know, consider this. But if you have a... If you're playing a character with Smoke, Brimstone, whatever. Don't be afraid to actually push him if there's only one player left. Uh, just to finish off the round or so he doesn't pick you off one by one. Uh, that's just my honest opinion. Look, a lot of people have different opinions about this. What I seriously think about this... This one this one is one of, one of my favorite rounds, actually. Um, Havana is just a great practice point. As immediately as the Cypher Trap, you know, just shows, BAM! It's gone. Before the enemy could even react, before Cypher could even react, Oh, this is my strip wire is destroyed, better place than you want. Nah, that's not gonna happen, look at this. Ah, uh, already dead. It took like two seconds. He's already dead. Bam, he immediately places like a cam or something. That's great. Uh, great of you, to be honest. Great of you, food. Uh, Pre-fires, because... Why did he pre-fire? Because he didn't. He already gave away his position before, right? He just pre-fired to get a bit of extra damage. Um, and he's also gonna buy time with the cyber cage later on. Uh, so, if you check over here... After the omen thing, uh, yeah, this this is this is this is like really really good. I don't know if Brimstone kills this one. I can't remember, but this was really good. Look at the same. Like, let's take let's take a look at this again. Uh, he kind of went back from the race thing. A lot of players just push in and try to you know go some type of god tier and think they're great, but just not the case. Usually you just die off, right? Uh, these are, this is just some great aim, most of the players couldn't do this anyway, however, I'm pretty sure this is actually pretty good. So they won this round anyway. Uh, we're going to pistol round now, which, I like pistol rounds a lot, they're pure aim, they're all about pure aim. He misses a shot, he isn't greedy, uh, the teammates know now that enemies are at A, so he waits for a slight push, you know. Uh, yeah, look at this pre-fire, this is great. Bam, easy kill. Um, I don't know, he didn't get a kill with that one. Probably lit him a bit. Uh, pre-fires as well, I guess, just because of planting. I think that that's a great thing to do. <sighs> this was a nice round. Basically, he won them the round, right? He knew nobody was here because of the map info. Like, the walls and whatever. So this is how to play like a pro. I think that's this, this is pretty great. Right? Uh, 100 Thieves is definitely gonna look good uh, for Valorant. I think it's gonna be like a TSM in CSGO. So if you don't know what TSM in CSGO is, or like, uh, there's a lot of, you know, good tiers. TSM wasn't good anymore, but it used to be like a top tier, uh, not losing any games at all. Um, if we look at, I, I don't want to say any team, because if someone is gonna check this like three months later, and it's, it's, she's, she's just gonna say... Oh my god, uh, Fat Man, they're so... They're not tier 1, they're like tier 2 now, or they're number 2. So, if you get me, they're gonna be seriously good. So, if you look over here, he doesn't have a spike anyway. So, what he does, he can just push through, gain all that map control. Um, well, he can't have the spike because he's defending, that's my my little mistake over here. Uh, look at this. He knows that like there's no one at B. He knows there's no one at A, so where else could they be? At mid, right? Oh, that was great. He thought the Cypher Zulf was activated and he thought he would go behind, right? 
that's not what happened. Now he has the info. Look at this. He even blinded his teammate a little, but that's okay. It's over. It's over for him. Seriously, I think this is a seriously good round. We want to check one more over here. Th this is just the speak speaky little pre-fires. Uh, I like a lot, but I guess this is how I control mid. If my teammates would be like this, I would be I would be I would be radiant right now. I would be a radiant rank. I don't know why this is not happening to me. Um, but I definitely want a teammate like that on my team. Anyway, I have more videos like this on my channel. And this is Fanman. Sign out. Peace, guys.